here is my 2016 Dodge Dart Turbo. It is the 1.4 with the six-speed manual transmission. Um, I just picked this car up at an auction not too long ago. It's got uh, some front-end damage from hitting a deer. Um, there's also a couple other small, um, small little rust spots, some other cosmetic wear on the vehicle too that needs to get taken care of that I do plan on fixing. Um, I got some more damage back here on the rear bumper, some cracks on there that I also plan on repairing. And then this is actually the side where a majority of the damage is. Kind of on the door panel you can see uh, right over there. And then this got pushed into as well on the driver's side here. Then obviously mirror snapped. Uh, fender's a little bit bent up. And this is where the main collision was. Right, right in this area here. Pushed in the the core support uh, just a little bit there but just missed the motor so the motor seems to be fine it uh, runs and drives so far um, but it does need to get that repaired in order for it to be able to actually take it down the road um, it's only got yeah definitely pinches right over there right now that needs to get taken care of this car only has not sure if you can see that 28,000 miles on it. It's got cloth interior, which is actually in pretty decent shape. Um, doesn't have the touch screen or anything. Here, I'll pop the trunk and take a look at the back seat too as well. Everything seems to be pretty well intact on this car. So that makes me happy. No spare right now. Uh, the plan with this car is I'm going to be repairing it. And I'm also going to be doing a bunch of different videos um, for how to... I'm going to be modifying it slightly and just doing a couple of the other repairs on it for the front end and all these different body parts that need to be replaced on it. I did pick up uh, some new wheels that I'm going to be putting on it. These are some 18 inch Mopar wheels that I'm actually going to be throwing on it today. So these will replace the stock wheels. Um, and then I have some Hankook Ventus HR2 wheels in a 225-40-18 um, that will hopefully look a lot nicer on the car and fill the, the wheel wells up a little bit. So this is my first take on the car since I just swapped out the wheels. I did the driver's side first. Um, so this is this is how it looks. Um, I will say I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. I think it fills up the wheel well a lot better. And the offset is going to push it out a little bit more. I know it's hard to tell because this is kind of cracked right here. Um, but on the back side we can see definitely seems like it is pushed out a little bit more versus the 17 inch wheels that were originally on it and i did go ahead and put on um the old factory oem set of lug nuts as opposed to these aftermarket ones that were on the car um, which i don't like these wheel lugs anyways i think they're terrible um, i plan on swapping these out with a set of actual studs and putting some lugs on here that i think will be a lot make things a lot easier to take the wheel on and off um, but this is how this side looks. Try to do a little bit of a wider angle here just to see it. And then I'm going to go ahead and go over to the uh, passenger side 
and just get a second look on what the other wheels looked like on there. But I will also probably get some spacers for the front too, just to bring this out a little bit more and give it more of a stance and some more poke. Um, there is plans to lower the car too as well. Here's gonna be the factory OEM 17 inch wheel side. So seems like it tucks in a little bit more than what the other side did. And come back to the back here. I know these wheels are kind of dirty too, so this side doesn't, looks a little bit nastier than the other side right now. So one comparison that I was just making as I'm swapping out these wheels here is the old ones compared to the new ones that I'm gonna be putting on. So these ones are 17s, uh, 225, 45 by 17, and it's a 17 inch by I believe seven and a half inch wheel. And then these ones, so these are a Mopar wheel. Um, they're lightweight, uh, if I can get that in camera, they're lightweight. And then I went with a 225-4018 wheel. Uh, I don't actually know what this wheel's off of. It's pretty similar to the Charger and uh, Challenger wheels that they have, only this is an 18 inch and those ones are 20. But I was just doing a comparison for the weight and I have a little scale here and I'll show you what the difference is um, in weight between these wheels. So I'll have this zero out. I'm gonna take the old factory 17 inch wheel. We'll put this on. And so we got this on, give it a second to balance out. Okay, so we're sitting at right around 44 pounds is where it kind of seems to be. Um, at right in the area around there so let's take this off and put the other one on and we'll see what we can get with this one um, that says that it's a lightweight wheel the Mopar new one we're gonna throw on so the other one was 44 pounds so seems to be balancing out I'm just balancing it with my finger not adding any extra weight so this is looks like just over 40 pounds not quite 41, right around 40, just over. So that's already a savings of four pounds that we're gonna be saving with these new wheels. So all the wheels are on. I'm just gonna do a quick walk around and we'll see what it looks like with them on. Um, all the sides. So super happy with how it looks so far. Still, I think it definitely does fill up the wheel well quite a bit. Um, still has a lot of work to come. Um, quite a bit of a, a wheel gap in here right now that's pretty significant that I plan on taking care of. Definitely gives it a nice better stance. I think it could stick out a little bit more. I do want to put some, probably some spacers on the wheels uh, just to knock them out a little bit. But so far, so good. Here's the last one.